Hello and welcome. Right then, we're going to get stuck in straight away. Let's get cracking. Chicken food from here now. I think it's, it is much more expensive and I'm quite sure that we, down at the shop, have, we need to, we need to retrieve the, uh, yeah, we must grab the Rex as well. On its lonesome now. Yeah, that's what I was trying to retrieve. The Schaefer that we left outside the shop. We only borrowed it. Yeah, we did. We did. I allowed that. I didn't think that was too bad. We're really a stone throw away from the actual shop, so I, I can't see that as being bad. Yeah, we did. I thought we'd got loads of uh, stuff that we bought. We bought some uh, dry grass. We will come down next session, I think, and we will. Or do we do it now? Get everything sorted. Yeah, why not? Let, let's do it. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to grab everything down here, and I'm going to. Uh, we're going to go to a bit of a time. I know it really won't take long enough. I'm going to see you shortly. Right now, then, are we going to be a human? Are we going to be a pusher? Push it all together. The dry grass was that for? I think it was to feed the uh, sheep. But then we bought. We just yeah. That's the point. How did we feed the sheep? We do love the fact this can actually do that. It's quite amazing. Now then, how are we going to do this? Do we do it? What's the best way to do this? Now this is not very heavy. So we could really, if I don't destroy the... Yeah, it's not very heavy. As you'd imagine, dry grass, really. So I'm thinking... Where we should we put it? Yeah, like on that. Who can we get this crossways? Now, it, I wouldn't do this if it wasn't hitched up. Because it would be, yeah, be awfully... I mean, I say it is quite light. That is, there's, you can see there's not an awful lot of tension on the back of the Schaefer. Yeah, we need to... Oh, I got that square, so I'm going to have to make up for it with a bit of squirming. Some more chicken food. Do we stockpile it a little? With it being so reasonable, because we're not intending to come down that much. Do we need anything else? Like seeds or things like that? Let's have a look. What stockpile of stuff we have got at the top? Seeds. We've not got a lot. I think we'll buy another two. Yeah, because I would like to, if possible, buy that for the field. Now this is heavy, so we'll be very lucky if we can do more than like more than one. I think two at a time with this. Yeah, you can see that is making a completely different uh, thing of the Schaefer. That's definitely, definitely a struggle. It's definitely heavy. Yeah, I do think we will buy some, uh, a couple of bags of seeds as well. Do we need some more fertilizer? I think we were alright for fertilizer. We can make our own lime, I think, because we did have quite a bit of stones. I think we made some with the production shed. Oh, we can have a quick look on camera. I'd sooner look and, like, do you know, while we're down here, stockpile everything up that we need than, uh, than not really. Let's have a, look, a quick look, being as we're down here. Make the most of being down at the shop. Lime. Now the fertilizer could well be that we've got some in stock. The lime, we've got plenty of lime, plenty of herbicide, a little bit of um, that. Potatoes, we should have lots. We have, yeah, 227 tons. Right, so seeds. We will grab some seeds. Some 
seeds, uh, no, big bags, and right to the end, the picking pack is the last set. Seeds, we'll buy two. Because we did have some as well. I think that's enough. Uh, we were going to stockpile, yeah, I think a couple more pallets of chicken food. And I think that should do us for a bit. So I might, I've probably forgotten something. I know what I'm like. No Matera. Yeah, Murphy's Law, isn't it really? That, you know, we can put some of this on the uh, back of the truck, really. But we could. No, I think there's room. There's no, no point in like struggling when there's no real need to do so. A little. I do love this chafer, it is a beautiful bit of uh, machinery. Yeah, I'm getting quite used to the colour pink if I'm honest. I don't mean I like it, I'm not but I'm not so terrified of it. I've immersed myself in pink. Yeah. Now, I've got to be honest, I was saying this the other day. It's the Obviously, the one colour, the colour is the pink, is a, a useful colour for seeing because it's such an um, unnatural colour. It's not something you see in nature, an awful lot of pink. Ooh. And you often, I, it was the pink, the very first collectible I ever saw on Carmsden was pink. And I noticed it because it stuck out from all the others, and that's what I'm saying. For some things, pink's good. So, for something like the Bale Pusher, Pink's the perfect colour. It really is. I don't know, stick those straps on. Yeah, I'm not I'm gonna meet you back at the farm and obviously I'm not gonna reset because yeah, that'd be like pretty pointless. Yeah, so I am gonna see you up at the farm. It's not the most interesting thing seeing me Taz across the map and probably bump into the lamppost that I always seem to have a, an issue with the bump at the uh, the back way that we always go. Well do you know yeah, do you know, it's, yeah, sometimes it's just, let's just sort down the road and, yeah, now let's be careful as well. It's quite amazing now, isn't it? Ooh. Over a few months, how your, uh, the Samurai is still a very beloved bit of kit, but because it's often very heavy it's I've had to like reevaluate it not because not that I don't like it but it's not practical yeah that it's just a little bit too big now it's okay as a, um, a 3.5 ton bucket it really is but it's for what I used to use it for as a front I think the MX pack is probably the thing that I will go for the most because it's reasonable while still being only the same size as the proper fertilizer um, and lime buckets that you get on the front of the planters that you can get and and the cedars now as well there's this cedar one as well so yeah I, I don't think it's that too unbelievable really now that chicken food now yeah, that's true we have got yeah I've got umbrages with uh, whoa really what was that about what I didn't turn that yeah one of these Things I always tend to hear, and it's this one here on the, as I'm going around the corner, or it might be the next corner that always seems to catch me. And it always, it's when I'm switching my indicator off. This time I switched it off all right. It might be this one here, as in, yeah, there's certainly my indicator when I'm coming around here, and it could be one of these I actually bump into. But there is definitely one that has a, a, a secret liking. I do love the fact that the uh, Ooh, it could be that one. It's one of these I always manage to hit. And I don't mean always, but I have at least twice. And both times when you weren't watching. <laughs> Which I was very grateful for. Right. Fantastic. I could have sworn there were collectibles on that. Now I'm not looking too closely because I, I said we wouldn't grab them from it, but oh, what was that about? I could feel that going. 
and I really was slowing down so I really don't know what that was about right okay let's go and see if we can grab one of the biggies the big tractors you don't get much bigger than this guy oh yeah you do yeah I'm not sure about this with it being like a reverse um, thing I know with this we can change let's change driving direction I don't do it often enough to ah you have to press both both of your uh... I'm still not sure this is going to work where we might have to come and I usually find front load is the best thing for tipping these over it's, it's physics rather than power but yeah we, we might be able to uh... yeah I honestly I really don't understand the why I was not going fast there nor was I particularly going at a certain yeah is it a little bit uneven perhaps We can, we've got an adjustable rear hitch oh yeah but not the actual yeah strangest the hitch bit that you're actually doing is completely oh okay right okay let, let's go and grab the one of the front loaders the little Massey This could well be our saving grace. Now that is a point. How? I think the self-made weight would do quite nicely because, of course, that used to be on the back of the. I think between this and that, it's going to be a, a massive. Oh, it is a massive, but a little bit too massive. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I yeah. Oh, there we have got plenty of um, fertilizer. I think that's stones, I think we need to stick that in the... Uh... Yeah, we have got hay in there, I don't know why we've got hay. I cannot remember sticking hay in there, or... Yeah, I really can't. get this sword and then I believe it will probably be the end of the yeah I would say that this has been quite a monster uh, session actually we've achieved quite a lot even though it doesn't appear like we have we've not done any uh, would be nice to get through to September morning though this was not really supposed to turn out to be one of those disasters which uh, seemingly I uh, quite frequently do this type of thing I don't think I've seen any other content creator do quite so many mistakes. Yeah, now you have to sort of prod it at the right place, which is usually at the top where it is, which is physics, really. Ah. You're also fine against the hill. not the sort of response I was expecting. But you know, I've never seen this type of thing where it w won't respond to this. No, it's strange. Well, it was really quite strange, really, that it did what it did. I think if we stick the ridiculous Dominic back on, push with the sin track as well as push with the yeah I've had to do this a few times in my uh, time could be a mod flash Nope. 
That's not what I was trying to do at all. Defeat for myself. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Apologies for the silence, yeah, I'm concentrating. Usually it's better to go low, although in real life it'd be to go high. That that was like hitting a brick wall. It was not having any of that at all. I've never seen this kind of physics before, where the physics go like this. Ah, might be onto something if we pull the other way. ever done that before but yeah that is not necessarily a bad thing if you could pull on that quadrant if you could tie a rope at that section and then pull backwards it would be the weakest wow you say that I think giants have changed tweaked the uh, physics we had this on the 70 tonner as well yesterday on Glenmethan I was it was totally different to anything I've ever seen before. Let's let the weight of that do that and see if we can push. No, it's like it, it's like an immovable object. I think the easiest way is to do one thing I would never do with logs, which is just to let it all, yeah, collapse, really. I don't think we've got any other choice. You can sort of, if we get, yeah, the mass is going to cause that all to fall. Oh, what on earth? I think I'm right. There's some sort of mod clash going on here. That, that was a bizarre, strange... Yeah, there was some that there was definitely something in the sky that was doing some weird and wonderful thing. Definitely. Right, let's get some of this back on. Right, so then the grass. No way. yeah, now the this cannot do what that could do. Yeah, the shaper might get away with it, but this not so much. Right, I'm going to time myself because this is going to be a bit of a mess. I think, Do you know, I'm going to stop recording it. Yeah, I am for once. It's, it's it's pretty boring. We've already seen me sort of load it up. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, grab this and I shall meet you back at the farm where we do stick this. Oh, it's not going to take long. It isn't. Now oh, that looks a little bit odd. I think we I don't think we can do two of these, but we could. Is there anything we can I don't think there's any tricks we can employ really as and unfortunately, as much as this is super, it does pull it will pull two at once. It is it's as if it's got something. It's as if there's something there. Isolate you. Yeah, because <laughs> the bad thing of this, it, it obviously. Ooh. 
And I'm not expecting to struggle with one. Although I suppose really it is, yeah, is it? So unbelievable. Do need a bigger way. Ooh. Right, okay, that wow, that is well. Yeah, let's just let go of it. Not really much of a point. We can literally do something about this. If we just grab the 30 tonner, we can fit it with the, the air, we can stick it to. to oh, can we though? If you say that, I'm not sure you can. Can any of our bigger tractors, can any of these have a front loader? Because there are some 250 to 300 horsepower tractors that actually can have front loaders. They're rare, but they, there are some. Sure, no, I don't think that's the bigger class. I don't think that's is it? Let's have a look. There's got to be a way for us to fix this. It's silly medium. Oh, it is the biggie. Yeah, it is. The, ah, the Valmit is a little bit heavier. Yeah, the Massey is the smallest tractor we've got. No, the Rex probably is actually thinking. Oh. You know that big wheel loader over there? Perhaps that could solve the problem. Really? I think. I reckon that that would probably be the answer to the problem. Why did this not immediately spring to mind? I don't know. It's weird, but you're right. I think this probably is going to be saving grace. I don't think we need the uh, third tunnel now. And if we do, then we'll come back for it. It's not very far away. Is this the stones? It is. Let's go and stick those in there. Let's get these little incidental job stuff. I know it's a big session, but it is what it is. Yeah, I might split it into two. It might be one of those where you were, uh, yeah, I split it really. But this has is one of those jobs that really should have been done a long time ago. Fantastic. No, we, we could do the bucket. I think we'll. I think we'll be all right. This is 17 tons. If it can't lift five tons in one go, then, then I think it could probably nearly do two. Maybe could do two. This is heavier than the Schaefer, and that that can manage two, as we saw. So really, if this can't manage two, there's something wrong with the physics. So I think this will quite nicely be able to lift the two at once. These things do happen in real life as well. Yeah, we have got the big weight on as well, so it really, I know this is only the little one, but with that weight on as well. It's, it was this the medium one, I think it was. Yeah, it can't be, because that's 3.5. I'm not sure. Right, let's get this lot on. That makes that look quite easy by comparison, really. But it, well, there's a bit of skipping going on at the back, so I'm not sure about easy, but yeah, it definitely 
definitely can manage the two. It's true. It, these, I don't believe it's true. I've not seen other content creators do this. I, I don't know whether they, if they had a Mr. City P always, but he doesn't do things like this very often. No, he's a, perhaps a far better at me to do reading the lay of the land. I seem to have a ha bad habit of, uh, as I said, need for speed. It is true. It, it is a bad habit. I do taz around way too fast. No, I'm not actually stuck. That's better. Yeah, I should retrieve this lot, the actual vehicles, off camera. I shall. I'm not going to leave these here. We'll just hopefully take the uh, ridiculous Dominic back yeah because we, we don't need these we do I mean, I mean that is true if this is the one how do we get this lot off the trailer well I suppose we could use the bucket for that really right, now hopefully we don't have any more accidents Says if we do, no, don't don't tempt providence. Oh, 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 oh. It is it is the lay of the land, really. I suppose when you consider how much, I don't know. It's according to that, it's not that heavy. Oh, that's a bit, bit of a nasty angle. with something as delicate as this you'd have to be careful I do admit to definitely tazzing around a little bit too fast with things like this really and if something like this oh we'll get a bit of bleed with the tie coming through the H2 studio grain at least feed the chickens we do need those eggs as well don't we there's something we needed them for brilliant I think that's it right we're gonna sleep through till tomorrow morning Gordon Bennett, and then that is where we're going to leave it. That is, that is, what a monster. Seriously. Oh, no, it's nine o'clock now. I'll check the sales as well. Not bad, not bad income from our businesses, our potatoes and everything. I think we're going to buy field four. We'll buy field ten. Yeah, we can afford that. We can live with that. We've got our animals, 228,706. Oh, 
beautiful, big, monster versatile. I don't know how do I think I've had that since the Western Wilds. But to be honest, I think the horsepower that we've got is pretty much what we need. Really? Oh, the Amazon Saitan. I think again it's a little bit too big, really. It's a shame, it is a cracking price. Do we do that? Do we go for the side turn? If we're thinking of going big, is there anything else, planter-wise, that you can... There is, actually, there is. That's a cedar, though. Yeah, I'm trying to think of cedar. 15-metre cedar. Ah, there's actually quite a bit on this map. I'm not... Yeah, the other thing. We might have a look at that next year. It does fertilise as well. We would have to... Well, we have got a uh, plough, which we could use. But it really, no-till, does prefer no-till. I mean, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter if we... Yeah, well, I'm sure we have a... Yeah, we do we have a plough. We have got the little planter. Do we buy another one of those? But that's the special planters as well, the cedars. Yeah, well, these are these are decisions to be made over the winter. There's the entire winter to go as well, where we can literally uh, check the sales. It doesn't have to be today, does it, really? So I think we'll say no to that. How much? Do, I'm intrigued on seeing how our animals have gone down overnight. So, sixty. Well, we didn't fill that up all the way. Eighty-two tons of straw. We. I don't think we filled that right to the top. We might have done, but yeah, that's a. Uh, Water's gone down very little. Yeah, it really has six, five to six tons. Nine, nearly 10 tons of milk straight away. That's the, one of the things we we're also gonna have to do is um, the walls, six and a, yeah, six and a quarter, 120. That's, they can, I think, double, can't they? And they are, yeah, they, they've literally filled the enclosure already. The grain has gone down Oh, of course, it'll be topping itself up. So we've got the eggs. Right, we're going to... Obviously, we've got the grass to cut, um, which I shall pop over there. I'm going to leave myself over by the Valmet. The Valtra. No, it's the Valtra Valmet. <laughs> Actually, I was right. It will leave that there. And we can leave the weight on. We're not, of course, going to actually cut the grass now. But, yeah, we'll just get this ready. So I... Uh, now then, has this got this course actually laid? We can press it. It has. So this can be the mower next next time. You can, yeah. Right. All that remains to be said for this particular session is thank you very much for watching. Truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this journey. <laughs> we have come a long way. And I know we always do this. It is true. I just... Sometimes I think you've got to just sit back and sort of look at... Um, yeah, we did have some battles, really. I mean, we literally an awful lot of uh, fertilising and liming and stuff like that. Uh, we've got this beautiful grass field, which was a, a gift from the map maker, which we're allowed to use it part of the periphery. So we've got this, which is this is our main income, really. Even still, I mean, we've got the potato businesses, which is also going nice. Now that's a point. I think is that field. Yeah, we're going to need a stone picker. There's loads of stone, red stone as well, the big stone in field four it is cultivated that is the good news we will scan that we have a scanner so we will scan that i'll bring those off for uh, next session but yeah i really am going this time yeah it is just nice though just to reflect really and see how well you have done so we'll cut the grass and the last cut of the year a last lot of silage um yeah it's a shame i am right about it's a real shame that you can't actually switch the bale wrapper side of the quick bale off so that you don't have to wait but it's it's patience really that does all of this isn't it so yeah yeah i'm going to check on youtube though about the um i'm, I'm rusting a little bit see what we got last year from the potatoes because that was like 120 odd or just under 120 tons i'm sure we got more than that it doesn't make sense on why we've got so much potatoes 220 something tons of potatoes so yeah, I'm going to have a quick look at that as well. But I am going to say goodbye for now. <laughs>